All right, it's time for the Electric Labyrinth. Now, this is Bubble Blast Galaxy. It probably means you're in a bubble the whole time. Remember that bubble mini game we had done previously? Yup, look at this. Oh, man. So, if the rollerball was tough, this is going to be like fucking... Like, sitting on a cactus. Or like trying to pee a kidney stone or something. This is bad. Yikes, look at this. Okay, what does this say? It's me, Phil Board. I remember the name to Board. Uh, try to remember how to control a bubble. Watch out for those electric rails. Alright, I guess we'll start bottom left. Alright. Can I blow bubbles for the Bubble Blast Galaxy? No, I can't blow bubbles. There's no reason to. We're not celebrating anything. I'm kidding. Okay. Right in my face. Bubble Blast Galaxy. There you go. Okay. Here we go. My hand's all sticky now. Shit. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh. That was really stupid. Why did I think I could bounce on that wall? That was really asinine. <clears throat> I am dumb as a rock. Five. Okay. Likely this is probably not anything important. Yeah, I know. It's just coins. Oh, shit. I thought I didn't think I touched it. Well, someone named Kekin just took me $5 and said, Ah! Well, I don't know if that's actually the Kekin we know. Because the Kekin we know used to actually be Kekin 03. So perhaps this is not the Kekin we know, but a new Kekin. But anyway, whoever this is, thank you for the $5 tip. XP Gamer Cheers says, Sorry I'm late. No problem. You don't have to ever apologize for being late to my streams. It's not what it's about. I don't actually didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this one first, but I guess I'm doing it again. What I figure is do the ones that are more challenging first. Because if you die on them, you don't have to redo the easy ones, right? Wow, I couldn't blow. I tried to blow, and I couldn't blow. I couldn't blow. It wouldn't let me blow. Forget that stupid thing that only generates coins. Why the fuck do I care about that? Alright, here we go. Let's see what this one is. I get the feeling none of them are actually hard unless you're going for like the stupid optional coins. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, this is easy. You just go around the little spike balls. Who cares about the fucking coins? Alright, I don't give a shit. This one. There's a one up on this one. Well, that's good. That basically means I can always get an extra life, right? This is actually easy. It makes it seem like it's gonna be tough, but it's actually nearly not tough at all. Just gotta be patient, that's all. Like that! Oh my god! I was impatient and I fucking died. So good thing I got the extra life. I'm a dunce. I am a dunce. Alright, let's not be a dunce. <clears throat> let's not be the me of 60 seconds ago. Okay. Oh, shit. That was fucking close right there, dude. That was close. Alright. <clears throat> this is the only one we haven't done yet. Completed and we'll, we'll beat the stage. Forget the coins. That's such a trap. Oh, I want to get every coin. What are you, stupid? You don't need them. They don't even count for anything, right? They don't help you get stars or anything. There's no point in getting them. You don't take damage in this stage, so what do you need a coin for? That's just for people who, like, can't help themselves. They have to get every single collection item in every game ever. <laughs> Every piece of meaningless currency must be collected. Okay. left. This one. The bottom left. It's the last one. Good. Good. Sweaty Man JPEG says, is this for Fall Guys tougher? Uh, Fall Guys, because Fall Guys, you have people playing against you. And there's X-Factor team games and stuff. This is all based on your individual skill. Versus in Fall Guys, it's completely random depending on who you get teammates and stuff. Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna be 
safe. I'm going to go slow and steady. And I'm not going to take chances. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Fuck, 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 fuck. At least we get to start from here. That would really suck if we had to get five stars again, right? No! Well, shit. I don't even care about the one up. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Give you a little respite here. That was good timing. Oh no! That's bad timing! Oh! oh shit. God damn it. This is gonna be tricky. Oh shit! I got too excited. I got way too excited to get way too much momentum there. Ugh. Sorry guys, I know some people are cheering, but I gotta focus on this right now. If I don't focus, I'm gonna, you know, keep losing. And even though some people would be very happy to see that, I'd actually like to progress in the game today. Uh, oh, excuse me. You must love the bubble. Caress the bubble. Shit, that was that was challenging, challenging but fun. Uh, that's what I like about this game. There's a lot of just challenge to the stages, but they're fun when you beat them. That's good stuff, dude. All right, so Gorilla Pimp Chase is the three D Mario. Is this the three D Mario Switch Collection? Yes, it is. Are you gonna play Mario Sunshine? Eventually, I'll I'll real replay it, but I just played it two years ago, so there's no way I'm playing it anytime soon. He said, "We want Mario Sunshine." Capture said, "You didn't blow good enough." Chat stupidly really said, "Use your lips." Of course, because they're stupid. Darkside Kenny Chitty says, you feel mobile gaming is finished? Is there a chance for a comeback? Even though they're not mentioned in the console war, most of the games are free to play, but they're in-game items that make you advance faster. I feel like mobile games are vastly underrated. You do realize mobile games are like an insanely billion-dollar huge industry. And in reality, even the stupidest, littlest mobile game, a lot of the times, uh, grosses more profit 
Dan, big AAA releases on consoles. Did you know that? Maybe you didn't. The reason you don't hear about it talked big is because people kind of do it, but it's not like a mainstream super duper, oh my god. You know, it's not like, oh my god, everyone's playing fucking Dokkan Battle, son. No one says that. You know, it's like, oh, everyone's playing Mario. Everyone's playing fucking Halo. Everyone's playing Call of Duty, you know? Or the big the big new superhero game. You'll hear about it. Dark Souls. But you don't really hear about it in mainstream when you talk about a lot of mobile games. Mobile games are still huge, though. They're ginormous, and they're super profitable because people get addicted to them. Um, Gorilla Pimp Chase said, Lol, I'm too excited with the blowing. Dark Side Kenny Chase said, Can you put a vampire costume on Jasper for Halloween? We kind of count Jasper. The thing is... The thing is... Last year for Christmas, he tried to get Jasper a collar with a Christmas bow tie, and he hated it. Whatever, you know, it was like a little thing that looked like the top of a shirt, like a dress shirt with a bow tie. He kicked it and tore it right off. So he did not like that at all. I don't know if he would wear a Halloween costume. <clears throat> oh, shit. A letter from Princess Peach. Oh, boy. Five more one-up mushrooms. Now, let's wait. Yeah. Emergency rushes for the Toad Brigade. Yeah. Whee! I don't need them. Alright, there's one more green stage, right? Roll up Pimp Cheers. Have you ever heard of the God of War announcement? I didn't hear any God of War announcement. I did hear about the Wukong game you're talking about, though. Uh, Thorax the Impula Cheers. I'm becoming, po I'm becoming popular. Your hater fan club contacted me to stop cheering you. I laugh because those guys will hate no matter what. Uh... They'll never be happy that we get offended. It's pretty sad. I knew they would. You're cheering so much, I knew they would contact you, and I'm sorry for that. Don't give them any info about who you are or anything like that. They will fuck with you and try to make your life a living hell. Trust me, because they do it to me. Um, Angel Bestia Chase said, My God, everyone's playing King Kardashian's Hollywood mobile game. Yeah, and everyone talks about it constantly, see? See what I mean? Like, there are mobile games that are crazy popular and make a lot of money, but no one really talks about them that much. The Loop de Swoop Galaxy. Oh, this just sounds great. Loopy swoop. Do the loop to swoop. Do the loop to swoop. Loop to swoop. It's called the galaxy's greatest wave. Okay. Oh no! It's like one of these races. The, the first one I did was a pain in the ass. Can you imagine how hard this one's gonna be? Oh dude, this is gonna be a real bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay. You again, back for more race serving. This, of course, is a monster. Oh boy! Three minutes to get back here. Great. This is not gonna be good. Three fucking minutes of doing this, too? They got a bunch of one ups, right? Hmm. Thank you. 
Go with Taylor Chase, and do you know what Nightbot re Repetitions is? Nightbot Repetitions? I don't know what you mean by that. Like, how many times can you repeat something before you get timed out? Actually, no, I think it's five or six for emotes. That's about all I know. I don't know that. I don't actually know how Nightbot's programmed. Retro Gym Chase, a determination in the eyes of DSP Anger. Which is the emo of DSP Anger. And then RPG Fan Chase said, This or Crash Team Racing for 24 hours straight, which would you choose? Uh, I would choose. Oh, uh, sandpapering my ball sack. God damn it. Oh my god! Fucking loop the loop. the course was a monster. I wasn't kidding. using the motion controls because they're required. The motion controls are required. You can't play this game without motion control. It's not allowed.
What the fuck? This is gonna take a while, guys. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you, uh, you don't have anything else to do this afternoon. Retro Gym Cheese and Nintendo with their motion obsession. Yeah, well, it was bad. It was the greater part of 10 years they had a motion controls obsession, you know? It wasn't until this console gen of the Switch that most games don't really necessarily require heavy motion control. It was both the Wii and the Wii U fucking wanted. It was so dumb. I think the Wii U would have seen a touchpad that almost no games really utilized that well at all. Stupid touchpad. Who the fuck wants that? God damn it! Oh! Fucking racing levels. It's always a racing level that gets me in this fucking game, right? Always, I could do the most hard platforming challenge ever. And put me on a race. See you in two hours, right? God damn it. Man, JPEG cheers at the Dark Souls of motion control racing. Indeed. Stuff. 
One minute, four seconds race time. That's not an easy time to get on the course. Everyone wants to see you, so drop in and say hello. Alright. It's about patience. Alright. Shell Con Artist just to be six dollars and he says phil how's it going we're gonna be uh i'm gonna be the collection soon are, are you gonna turn can you turn off motion controls in galaxy no motion controls are actually required in galaxy i wanted to play this with my regular hori gamepad it wouldn't let me it, it forced me to enable them so i either could use the freaking joy cons which weren't even charged i don't use them they're terrible or you could use a remote pad like the wii pad which obviously i don't think you do that i don't know how you would do that but I'm using the Pro Controller, which has a built-in gyroscope, so it simulates the movement of the Wiimote without the visual sensor bar. So I don't have any sensor bar set up. All I have to do is wiggle this thing around and the motion controls work. Okay? <clears throat> motion controls to me, $1.30. Get them out of here! Get them out of here! Get them out of here! There you go. Thank you guys for the tips today. I appreciate it. All right. About 40 minutes left on the stream. 40 minutes. Yes, they are mandatory Shao Kahn artists. You cannot play this without them. So I think I did all of everything in that galaxy now, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I did it all. Once the engine room on the upper level is powered, the observatory functions as a starship again, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I want to see the map. They won't let me see it. What if I just pause? How do you... I want to see, did I get all those stars? But I don't know if I did or not. Was it only three stars in that galaxy, guys? Okay. RPG fan, you said, now you should redo the level to beat your best time. Screw you, RPG fan. <laughs> oh, okay. All that is the way back. Gotcha. So I think I did everything there. All right, we're gonna go back to the bedroom now. Continue on. Remember, there's one more secret star in the desert, and then, um, then we have the Bowser stage, and then we're gonna unlock a new world, I believe. Okay. Super Flash is here. Says Phil. I see you're wearing the red vest. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Dusty Dune Galaxy, there's a secret star we haven't obtained yet. We have to find it. Okay. Our people are saying it was only three stars. I did it. Okay, Sunbaked Sand Castle is where there's a secret star. Okay. I wonder where the secret star could be. I got all the items last time when I was doing this. Joe, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Good to see you. So here they want me to get the five star pieces, which we did before. Doesn't worry, he doesn't permanently die when you hit him, right?
Okay. There's only one left. And again, I don't think there's any secret here. I'm not seeing anything that would be considered a secret. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Crabcock has resubscribed for nine months. Says, hello, are you enjoying the big, big, bing, bing, wahoo? Oh, the bing, bing, wahoo is what I'm all about. You know that, man. Thank you for the resell. Good to see you. Dark Side Nintendo took me a dollar. I said, remember, guys, motion controls are mandatory. Will always be mandatory. No way. Okay. No. 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 I don't like motion controls if you can avoid them. Some games that require them are kind of annoying. I think there is a block, okay, that you that stays in place. On this side. Right there. There's two blocks. See them? There's that block right there, and there's another. There's two blocks. One of them stays completely stationary, and one of them doesn't. I bet if you hit the stationary one, that's where the secret star is. Right now, I'm below the stationary one, aren't I? No. Oh, there's three blocks. There's three blocks. Okay. There's one that's gonna pop up right here. Okay. And there's one more right there. See it? I wonder if you hit all three blocks if you get rewarded. That was my idea. I thought maybe that was it. I guess we can just get off of here then, because I don't see anything else. Okay. Huh. This plan, this is the plan I inadvertently got off of it. I didn't mean to. stuff going up and down on this planet. You see that? Look. There's knobs. Look at that. It's going in and out. So hold on a second here. The planet pulsates in size. Aha! I got it. It must be the secret star. I didn't notice that the first time that I played the stage at all. Yup, we're going to a totally new area. Look at this. What the hell is that? Blue Bill. Alright, see what this is. I missed. What will this be? So far, nothing. Okay, there's the hidden star. So the question is, how do I get one of those bullet bills to follow me down here, right? 
This is tricky. Retro Jim, no, I've not talked to Papa Vera lately. I don't know what happened to him, and I wish him well. Oh, come on, you fucker. I was trying to leave it to there. Apparently, we have an emotes only chat right now. Uh. Alright, now it's back to normal. We had a limited time, limited edition emotes only chat room. Very exciting. Fucking shit. What a bunch of ass and balls. This is tough. Sinestro hairline is back. Jesus, why not bring old bad blood and drama into your stream? Wait, how did you meet John Rambo in the FGC days? John was friends with my uh, my other gaming uh, com compatriots in Team Hate, uh, Tony Barnhill. And Tony Barnhill loved to play a variety of games. Mostly CVS 2, he was really good, and Marvel's Capcom 2, he was really good. But he liked playing a variety of games. And he knew Rambo and introduced me to Rambo um, because he knew that I was really, really good at Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Rambo wanted to basically get better at Super Turbo. It was actually Rambo and his friend as well, Jamie. And uh, I went to, I believe it was Jamie's house once or twice and we all played Super Turbo together and I was teaching them all these different strategies and techniques that they didn't know about. Um, we played on the Dreamcast actually back then. And... Uh, then I started seeing Rambo around. He started going to tournaments and stuff. And so we would see each other at tournaments and the like. And then it just so happens we started going to tournaments together. You know, because we wanted to travel to play Super Turbo. And that's how we became friends, traveling to tournaments together to play Super Turbo as part of, like, Team Connecticut going around. So there you go. No drama there. God damn it, this is gonna be a major pain in the ass. This might take longer than the race. <laughs> went back up there? Oh my god. I went back up there. I could get the star and then try to kill all the, uh, kill all the dry, what do they call these guys? Dry bones? But, uh, I don't know if there's a point. I probably won't get anything good for it. Maybe one up or something, right? Oh shit! Ow! Nice. Alright, secret, secret star obtained. Hey! Yeah. Bullet Bill on your back, it was called. Nice. Alright, I think now it's the Bowser stage, right? And we'll unlock the next world. Yeah. Let's 
funny, it's I've gotten six stars. It still doesn't say I'm done with Dusty Doom Galaxy. That's crazy. All right, we're doing it. Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. I tipped myself, tipped $1.30 and said, good work today, mods. That was not me tipping myself, but thanks for the conspiracy theory and the tip. Appreciate that. All right. All right, crap cock. It would be nice if you could stop doing copy pastas. Thanks. Darkness on the horizon. It's not like we're going to be fighting Bowser for the second time. I think you fight him three times, just like you do in Mario 64. All right. All right. Yes. There are a bunch of traps here too. Be careful of the gravity. Okay. Oh shit. I guess I don't want to touch the dark stuff, huh? Probably a bad idea. Probably death. Oh look, it's rollout from freaking Fall Guys. There you go. Oh my god. Whoa. I always enjoy a good sideways platforming session. Nice. Yeah, what's up here? What? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. I made it and he didn't grab it? Oh, fuck that. This is bullshit. I'm doing it again. It's fucking bullshit. He didn't grab it. Oh, he can bite me. I definitely like that they reused music from like Mario 64 and stuff in this game. It's actually very nostalgic and fun. There. Thank you. Now, what's over here? A lot of coins. And that's about it. Okay. So you can't run in this game like you can in other Mario games. There's no dash or anything. the looks of that. The dark matter is eating holes in space. Watch out for those holes or you'll fall into that dark matter. Jim says, would you ever play 15 turn games with old school Mario Party? I never played old school Mario Party at all, so I don't even know what a 15 turn game would entail. Sinestro Hairline Shooter said, you know what happened to the rest of your team hate members? No, I don't know what happened to most of them. I know, you know, we all know what happened to Koruchado slash Nestor because I've, I've played games with him. He basically moved on from fighting games and wanted to do other stuff with like Call of Duty and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, unless I talked to Tony Barnhill, he was still industry fighter and everything, but he had gotten uh, very busy with real life. And, uh, you know, basically didn't really play much of it anymore. I don't know. I, I know, sadly, Paul Cordero passed away a few years ago, which was really fucked up because he was a really nice guy, one of the best, uh, nicest players I've ever met, and he's super talented in third strike. And, uh, it was really unfortunate he passed away so young. Um, but I don't really know much else about anyone else. No, I don't know about anyone else in Team Vader, what happened to him. I said, once I started doing YouTube, I pretty much fell out of touch with everyone, you know what I mean? I was too busy with YouTube, just doing videos so much that I didn't, I didn't really care about the competitive Street Fighter anymore. Wait a minute, that was a bad choice. Wow. Okay. 
So what I want to do is stay here. Yes, this is where I want to stay. Okay. All right, here we go. And I want to stay here for when the gravity changes. Yep. And then I want to go to the left for when the gravity changes again. Yep. Same thing here. I want to go this way for when the gravity changes that way. Yep. And now I'm going to want to go this way. Yep. Nice. Tricky stage. Definitely a tricky stage with all the gravity shift. Use the stairs here. No kidding. <laughs> we're probably near the boss. Considering they're giving me this, we're probably right next to the boss. You're welcome. You're welcome for the freedom. Okay. Uh-oh. Bowser returns. What is you? That's it, Mario. I'm gonna stop you in the space bits. Oh, he's a spinning attack. I couldn't get him. Damn, he's fast now. One more to go. Piece of health. Huh. <laughs> Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. Okay then. Another grand star obtained. Lipsyn says, having played the new Crash demo, the game is a serious step up in difficulty from the previous ones. The playthrough is going to be good for sure. Oh boy, super duper challenging platforming, huh? All right, all right. If that's what you guys want, that's what you guys will get. 
Okay. All right, very good. Now what? The engine room. Yep. Darkness on the horizon. 66 stars, baby. Yeah. New galaxy unlocked. Wait a minute. We got a new one up here. What's this one right here? Hmm. Ah. We have ascertained the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle by your feet. Okay. That number represents the number of power stars you need to reach the center of the universe. One? That number will decrease with each power star you recover. I only need one star. When it reaches zero, the Comet Observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship again. Then we'll be able to reach the center of the universe. I only need one star. Okay, then. Comet Observatory has full power now. Wait a minute, never mind. It said one, but now she says, I don't need any. <laughs> yeah, look. That was weird. Yeah. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Wait. Please speak to me again when you are ready. Yeah, we got plenty else to do. So where is this new stage? I don't know. Right? Apparently there's a new stage somewhere, and it said there was one available, but I don't know where? Yeah, I don't know, unless that's the final stage. Let's go to the library and read more of the story, because we haven't done that this session. We may have multiple story segments to unlock. <clears throat> okay. Xander says the new stage is the final boss. Oh, okay. Let us begin. Sweaty man JPEG chases. We get what we want. I would love to see a playthrough of Mortal Shell and Code Vein. Been a while since you did Souls like game playthrough. I believe Sekiro was last year. No, it was two months ago. Don't you remember? I just played freaking Neo 2, dude. Neo 2 is a Souls like game. What are you talking about? I like how everyone wants to pretend it, that it doesn't exist. Okay. All right, home. Chapter 5. The kitchen will go here. The library will go here. The girl said busily to herself. We put the we'll put the gate up here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture, unlike any they'd ever seen, and the girl used it to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, it was certainly spacious, but still something that seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Chapter 6. Friends! Then one day, when the girl sat and sipped tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two Lumas ne neither drew closer nor backed away from each other, and so they just stared. Then one Luma broke the silence. My mama! At once, the apricot Luma parroted back, My mama, my mama! My mama, my mama! The two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any signs of stopping. <clears throat> the girl was so charmed by the adorable scene, she couldn't help but laugh. That's when something very strange happened. Whoa! Suddenly, more Lumos began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama! The sight of all the shouting Lumos only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The Lumos just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumos into the new house. Chapter 7, Taxes. Oh, the worst chapter. No, it's the telescope. After seeing their 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home, my home planet was still as blue as it once was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. 
Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope, and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill knotted with flowers. It seemed really familiar to her. Zooming in closer, the terrace on the hill became into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. <clears throat> she remembered how she and her brother would sled down the hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house on the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along she wasn't out there in the sky because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. This is the saddest fucking story in history. For a fucking children's game? Her mom died and is buried under the tree. This is fucked up. The girl's cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. All the Lumas, with uncontrollable sadness, started bawling at the top of their their their, their lungs. Tears of sadness hit the little planet and flooded them all. And they drowned in tears of sadness. This is fucked up. That should do it for today. Yeah, now that I'm fucking crying and depressed, thanks a lot, Mario Galaxy. You piece of shit. Well, that's fucked, man. Whee! That's fucked. Come on. Alright, anyway. Um. Sweaty Man JP Chase. So, yeah, I forgot about Yo 2. The game was trash. Mortal Shell looks cool and Code Vainly has waifus, and that nobody cares. Retro Jim Chase, I think people see Neo 2 as an arcadey Souls game, not a story driven Souls game. FBG Duck Cheer said so the game has some of the best music of any Mario game. I agree. The, the music in this game is absolutely great. And I really, really enjoy it. Now, how the fuck do I get up here? Now that I'm sad as hell, I'm crying. There we go. This guy still won't tell the secret. Apparently it's not for now. Maybe it's later. RPG fan cheers. I can think of a sadder story. A little boy didn't get an action figure he wanted. That's the worst. That's the saddest story of them all. So it looks like there will be a final area after the engine room. <clears throat> Up here. Oh, shit. See? So you're here to go down. That teleports you down. And see, there's a final teleportation spot that goes up there. Look at that. <coughs> so there's a hidden house. And you know what that looks like? The original house that it showed in the story that the girl built. So that must be a hidden area for later in the game. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. We've discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope that they are not misusing the power of the poor Grand Star. Alright. Look at this guy. Sorry, I just wanted to talk. Hello, I get a little rough from here on out, but just do your best. You'll be okay. Alright. He warned you. So we got a side galaxy called the Bonefin Galaxy. Then we've got Gold Leaf Galaxy, which looks like it's autumn, an autumn stage. Then we've got Sea Slide Galaxy, which would be all water stuff. And the Toy Time Galaxy, a bunch of toys. Where does he get those wonderful toys? And then... Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. I don't have time for a full-on stage, but maybe I'll have time to do Bone Fan. Let's give it a shot. I don't know how long it'll be. Maybe I have time. I have eight minutes left on the stream. Rosalina reads depressing shit to me at dollar thirty and said, "Mario says wee woohoo," and then he reads it and he cries himself to fucking sleep at night. Terrible. Okay. King Finn's fearsome waters. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, yes. What is it? Just a boss fight? It seems like it. Whoa! He's stalking us. King Finn. Holy shit, look at that thing. Bombs away. Mess with the lid. Here, so I got this. Did it work? It did. Uh-oh, we got little fish. Fish minions. Red shell. Taste of this! I missed. One up. Red shell. Sorry, they just are. Oh, good. I'll take that. That came in handy. King Finn. Now he's dead Finn. I mean, he was bone, so technically he was dead before anyway, so I guess he's double dead? How did he die twice? Wow. Alright! Very good! Alright, that was good stuff. Good optional stage. Some waters. All done. Very good. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude today's session of Super Mario Galaxy. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Great progress, great music, great gameplay. This game is great. I really enjoy it. I'm actually really enjoying the fact that I am doing all the optional stuff because I know I missed out on a lot of this and I, I don't even remember any of this. I seriously don't at this point. So this all feels like I'm playing a brand new game, which is really great. Um, I hope you're, you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Thanks to everyone who showed up to the streams, everyone who's following along on YouTube, and everyone who is contributing to help out. I appreciate that. Until next time, thank you very much. <laughs>